Hello everyone, my name is Zenitsu and I'm back with another Digimon video. It's going to be another unboxing video. This time it's going to be of four boxes of the latest set, BT-17 Secret Crisis. So as per usual, I am just going to go the first box a little bit on the slower side so you can kind of bask in all of the cards glory. And then for the rest of the boxes, I'm going to be speeding it up with some nice music in the background. So let's just dive right into the boxes and see what I'm able to pull.
Well, all in all, that's a pretty exciting first box. It got a uh, double star alt art, which is uh, not necessarily the most common thing. And well, that just means that it's a bonus card uh, compared to the normal amount of cards that I would normally see in higher rarity, which is usually seven SRs and two alt arts or one secret and one alt art. So definitely nice that my first box worked out and looked pretty good. Let's see if the others can manage to top what this is able to do. I highly doubt it unless I hit more of this type of a card, but we could always try and see anyway. number two down not too shabby a lot of repeats on the super rares which is fine because there's a lot of super rares in the set and super rares are harder to pull so specific ones that i'm personally looking for so far i'm getting multiples of so i'm completely happy with that and as far as overall value uh i definitely got one of the better alt arts as of the recording of this video in this box so can't be too mad at that so i think box two in terms of a normal box didn't do too bad. Let's see if we could continue this streak of success.
All right, box three is a little bit more lackluster, still getting a couple of uh, hot super rares making up the value, and the secret and the alt are still always decent. So let's just see if the last box is able to be a really decent box to bring us home and see exactly what I'm working with before I go out and, well, buy some singles or sell some of these hot cards that I'm probably not going to be playing with. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rass in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back Never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes It's a little bit unfortunate that it seems like box four was almost an exact repeat of box three. Uh, not really much I can do about that. A little bit unfortunate. Let's actually just get into the box toppers now. Just so we could see what we got. Just because the box toppers are really interesting. The fact that the set has three of them. Uh, I do like the movie memorial cards, at least the idea of them. I don't like screenshot art. I'll never like screenshot art. And usually when they don't credit an artist, that means it is a screenshot or a reused asset. Um, and I also hate the fact that these update packs have really desirable cards in them. And they're all really good for their respective decks. But... They're only one per six, so all of these cards are going to be uber... Ex well, all of the update cards are going to be uber expensive as a result because of just bad pull rates because it's going to take quite a lot to open to see all of these cards in terms of booster boxes. So it's just going to absolutely suck that some of these uh, casual cards uh, for casual decks are going to be really expensive and that's kind of where I have a hard time with Digimon as a whole right now when it comes to these boosters um, or like the promos in general is like it's really hard to justify casual decks when they cost just as much if not more than competitive decks 
to try to optimize. And that's where I have like a really hard time justifying these promos in the price point that they are because they are generally on the more expensive side and that's not helping the casual player in terms of actually having a good casual deck. And there's like almost no reason to actually play the game casually when casual decks are going to cost just as much, if not more, than actual competitive decks. So I know I'm kind of just reiterating that point, but I do think it's really important, and it's just because Bandai decided to be really, really poor with how they're going to be distributing their promos, and that's why Bandai is known and infamous for actually having a promo problem. So I think that's as far as uh, my actual like promos. These cards aren't really going to be like super desirable. It's just going to be the promos. So overall, I don't think I did too bad. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, well, the actual final results to see kind of what we ended up with. But as far as overall pulls, I can't necessarily be too disappointed with uh, what I spent versus what I got. I got each of my booster boxes from my LGS for about $90, uh, and I think I did pretty well for what I ended up paying for. And as far as my overall thoughts on the set, outside of literally seeing almost the exact same booster box twice, which... We haven't really seen bad seeding, like super bad seeding, where the box toppers dictated what uh, supers and secrets you'd end up seeing since like BT4, but it's not like it's an uncommon issue in TCGs, it just usually doesn't happen, and you think it wouldn't happen, especially with the fact that there's an increased amount of super rares per set, so statistically it shouldn't exactly be likely unless something about it actually is seated so uh, if you uh, found this same exact booster box or at least like this same style of stuff please feel free to tell me down in the comments below and while you're also down there feel free to tell me your polls and your overall thoughts and impressions on the set as a whole i think that this is a really fun and flavorful set with a lot of really cool things going on and it'll be interesting to see how the meta actually shapes up in terms of what's going to be good and well what's not going to be good and we kind of already have a window into that thanks to some Japanese data, but we tend to play differently, and if we do end up getting a ban and restriction on cards, that also can change things up quite a lot in terms of how our format plays out versus Japan's. And I hope you found this video to be somewhat enjoyable, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.